Hey, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans and today we aim to give you the best video possible while you sit there staring at your device screen. And just before we give you some of the best videos out there on the internet to help you with some tips and tricks, why not subscribe to the channel? Because in the next couple of weeks, trust me, we have some videos that you will not want to miss. Okay, so you have definitely heard of that internet rivalry between Apple and Android products, and it is as real as your next internet stop away. And when you think about having an Android phone and having a Mac, it might sound that it is really difficult to actually transfer files from that Android phone to your Mac. And over time, this has gotten a lot easier. And now people would actually say it is easier to transfer your files from an Android to a Mac than it is to transfer from a Mac to an Android. Android phones actually make it super easy these days to be able to move those files from your Android phone to your Mac. But if this weird compatibility between Android and Mac seems to give you a bit of a headache, then do not worry because in today's video, the plan is that I will show you a couple of different ways that can help you transfer all those files that you have on your Android over to your Mac. And let's begin because our first method is to use the app Mobile Trans. One certain thing about the Mobile Trans app is that you cannot exhaust its functionalities. Of all times, there is always a clear direction to how you can get things done without having to be confused or having to go through a long process. And the effectiveness of that mobile trans app keeps getting better and better and better with every single update. And of course, the first thing to getting anything done on this mobile trans app is to actually go ahead and open it up. And if you haven't opened it up, then the best place to download this is from the mobile trans website, which if you look in the description below, there'll be a link to help you download it. As soon as you've opened the mobile trans app, connect your Android device to your Mac and just use the USB cable. And you don't have to worry, the speed in transferring these files upon configuration is excellent. The next step is to then select backup your phone. On your desktop view, you will see three sections on the mobile trans app interface. On the right side of the screen, you will see that the selection on the interface is further divided into halves. Here, click backup on the section of the interface you will automatically see a new display with new sets of prompts. The next step is then to go and select the file types and Mobile Trans does not limit the files that you can select. You can choose to select any file type as long as it has a file classification on your device that is readable by the Mac. Then you just click start to initiate that transfer. And remember, I said it at the start of the video that Mobile Trans has a step-by-step -step guide to make sure that this is as easy and as quick as possible for you. And you can see from the video that we showed you there that it doesn't take long at all to make sure that you have got this process working. And at the end of it, you just click start and it will start to begin that process for you. And of course, it takes time depending on the file types that you have selected. So trust me, it might seem like it's taking its time, but it is working in the background and it will be done in no time just depending on the files and the file sizes that you selected to transfer over from your Android to your Mac. One of the best utility sets on the internet today is cloud storage, and there's loads of options from Dropbox to OneDrive to Google Drive. They're all relatively the same, but we'll quickly go through a couple of the options that you have for cloud storage, and then you can pick the best option, which is there for you. And a lot of these options work exactly the same on a Mac PC as they do to a Windows PC. So this might be helpful if you have a friend who has a PC, but doesn't have a Mac. Let's just talk about Google Drive first of all. What you'll need to do is open Google Drive on your Mac and sign into your Google account. Scroll through the folder section and select the folder that you want to download, which should already have some files in it. Right click on the folder and select download towards the bottom of the pop-up. Once this is completed, you should then be able to access that file on your Mac PC. However, you will not get a notification explicitly telling you that this transfer has been completed and downloaded. What you'll need to do is go and search your recently downloaded files on your Mac to go and see this file that you downloaded. And it should stay on your cloud storage on Google Drive as well, as long as you don't delete the file from Google Drive. So the next option that we have for cloud storage is something called Dropbox. And you'd have heard of Dropbox before, so let me tell Tell you how you can use this. The best thing about this for me is that you can easily just drag and drop files to where you need them to go and that makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Step one is to go and open that Dropbox folder and you just need to make sure that you keep it open. 
and we said it was quick, which means there's only one step left. All you need to do then is find the file that you want to transfer over to Dropbox, drag it into the folder and wait a couple of minutes while it uploads, depending on your internet connection and speed. And there it is, that is done. That is how you can use Dropbox to transfer those files over as well. And it is only got two steps. The next option is to use OneDrive. And unfortunately, this is not as easy as it is to use Dropbox because you can't drag and drop those files like you can on Dropbox using OneDrive. But of course, we'll tell you how to do it. So step one is to go and open up that OneDrive folder. Locate the folder that you want to share and just right click on it. At this point, click or share a OneDrive link or more OneDrive sharing options. With OneDrive for more privacy, you can always select to share it with a password, which means that the person that you share the link with will have to sign in to view those files as well. Microsoft have made this easier over the past couple of years though, so you don't have to sign in with 365. You can sign in though for free. There we go. There are some options for you there on how you can transfer the files to your Mac PC. And you'll realize that some of these options are really easy but the easiest one that we showed you today I think is probably mobile trans it gives you that step-by-step -step instruction and that there is also a huge amount that you can do with that mobile trans app which you can't do with other apps that we showed you in the video already the app also makes it possible to do anything in terms of file transfers as well so it's probably the best option from the video and the options that we showed you if Mobile Trans is an app that you want to try out, then why not click the link in the description below so you can give it a go and see whether it works for you. And if this video did work for you and it helped you out, why not subscribe, like the video, and of course, let us know in the comments below how it went for you. And it'll be really exciting if you subscribe because we will see you on the next video that will help you with some tips and tricks.